welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. Uh, so I keep seeing new subscribers, so welcome all of you to the Odd Squad. We are very close to 600, so um, as of the time that I'm recording this, so by the time you see this, it's possible that we could already be at 600. If so, thank you so much. <laughs> um, as you can see, I kind of have a new um, table covering, so this is actually um, I, just... I'll probably use this for the duration of the winter. So it's not, you know, it's definitely more winter with, excuse me, the snowflakes, but, um, you know, will will help me, um, will look nice, I, I guess, through Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything like that. So, um, I hope you like it. I think it looks really pretty. This is actually fabric. You can see there it's actually fabric that i got from joanne fabrics so they were having a sale for 50 percent off of their winter and christmas fabrics so i got just a yard was enough um, it's actually folded in half as well so it's a little bit feels a little bit thicker um under my hands and I just got a yard, folded it in half, and it covers, like, everywhere, um, with the exception of, you know, back here. But I didn't really want it to go all the way to the end of the table. I didn't want it draping over the sides of the table. Um, so you kind of have, like, that um, line where, you know, the books are and everything like that. And I did move some stuff around on my uh, table as well. Um, so some some of the items over here are a little bit more back in the corner and things are a little bit more like up against the wall. Um, I do also kind of want to transition when I'm done with this winter tabletop, uh, transition to over, over to something different. I really kind of love the teal, white, and gray or silver color combo. So I think that's what you'll see more of in the future. So I kind of want to get some some different things that have those colors to kind of complete the look of my table here. I have a candle going this time as well. So this is from Bath and Body. This is the fireside scent, but I love kind of the snowflakes match what I have going on right now. And uh, it kind of smells. Oh, I think I just put it out. <laughs> I did. It's getting very low, but let me see if I can light that back up again, but, um, and I'll probably change to a different one. There we go. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, nope, I think we're probably, we might be done with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have to check and see if I have another candle that I can put on my table if I can't get that one to light back up again. So it was a nice um, look while it lasted. <laughs> I do have some other candles. I just don't know if I have any that have like the blue that will match quite as nice. But um, I wanted to show you today some items that I got from Amazon. So kind of as I go into 2024, I want to update the look of my table. But I also um, am much closer now to clearing out my credit card debt. And once I do, I kind of want to start bringing in savings challenges again. Um, in a way, I think where I can save up and start to add money back to my long-term binder because I haven't been putting anything in there currently and also still contribute more money to debt so that I can have like my car and my school loans paid off sooner. I think I'm going to, once my credit card's done, I'm going to focus on the, um, the car cause I should be able to pay that off quicker. But anyways, um, I did get some new 
dice. So these are really cool because they came, they come in this little um, pouch. But um, they're not all like regular. So here's again like the teal to kind of go with the color scheme that I want to kind of transition into. But they are multi-sided dice. So we have, well this one's, I don't know if I'll be using this one at all because it's got like multiple numbers on the side. <laughs> That's, whoop, and there it goes. So we have like a regular square dice that has the one through six. Uh, we have, I guess these are called like the polyhedral kinds of dice. So this one goes, this one has different numbers, 80, 40, 60, things like that. This one I think is the 12 sided dice. So if I wanted to use this with the randomizer, uh, I could, and I would be able to use the number one because we have the chance of landing on one. So very cool. Um, we have a much bigger one. I don't know if this one go, this one goes up to 20. So we have a 20 sided dice. So I just really liked the look of these and you know, the fact that I could use this one with the randomizer and be able to, uh, use the number one if I wanted to do the full 12. Actually, I think I'm probably going to leave these in the pouch. <laughs> it's a really nice thick pouch too. And we will put those over there for now, but I do also have a soul mama binder. So I've seen these on a bunch of um, people's channels all over the place. And I really liked the designs. Um, and I have an idea of what I want to use this for. So I did get the Zodiac one. So we have the card in here that says, thank you so much. When you shop from a small business, you support a big dream. And we have their QR code, scan me for free perks. So I'll have to do that. So I have the Zodiac binder and then we will get into here and see what we have. Okay. Okay, so you know I had to get the Cancer with the crab. I actually have a crab tattoo for my Zodiac. Um, so I was born in June. Uh, this is really pretty. It's a nice, thick, it's got the magnetic clothes. Um, so it did come with these envelopes. Um, I have seen these envelopes. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the like fold over like this part I would probably cut that part off to tell you the truth and just use it like a zipperless envelope I don't think I'm going to like having to kind of tuck that in um, very much so we'll see what I do with those but I like that they're kind of like thinner and uh, you don't have like the zipper to deal with so we'll see how that goes and then we have the labels that come with this so vacation dine out is really pretty front to loan kids I like that they're a little bit bigger personal insurance so I'm not sure if I'll be using these because I have a specific um, reason, I guess, or, um, a specific idea for this. So I kind of want this to go along with what I want to do with the sunflower binder. So with the sunflower binder, I kind of want to use this to do some mini challenges. So mini, not, I mean, mini in regards to 
the amount that you would be saving, but also the fact that they would fit into these envelopes. So I kind of have these labeled with what I want them, whatever challenges in each envelope, what I want it to be saved for. So I just have these paper clips so I kind of have an idea of what kind of challenges will go in here. But for instance, wineries, um, breweries, kind of all the fun stuff that I want to save up for, fairs and festivals, concerts, um, casino, our trip to Maine, uh, passport, because I would like to renew that, um, support small, so, um, you know, supporting other shops on Etsy, giveaways um, for the channel, clothes, because um, I, <laughs> moving back to Connecticut from Florida, I don't really have a huge winter wardrobe, so that's always helpful, and then just kind of um, the last couple envelopes are just miscellaneous, so I'll put them towards whatever I need them for at that time. So this is something I kind of want to start doing in 2024 after my credit cards are paid off, but that binder would specifically be to do the savings challenge, and then once that money is or that particular challenge is finished, I want to start a new challenge for that category, but I would need a place to kind of put that money. So that's what this, um, this binder would be for. So for instance, like passport, main, like those little mini savings challenges can all go into one like travel envelope. Um, so we'll kind of have to see like what I end up putting in here for envelopes and whatnot. But um, this will kind of be like where that money is saved up once I'm finished with the challenge. I hope that makes sense. Um, but this also comes with a little, it looks like a little challenge here too. So let's see what we have going on in here. Because there's other, what else is in here? So we have a $200 savings challenge. So it looks like, uh, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's each item or each uh, leg, I guess, of the star here that you do would be $20. And by the time you're done, you have $200 saved up. So that's one that would probably fit in there. Oh, cool. And then we have some of the budget sheets that can go right into the envelope. So that's really cool. Can never have enough of those. Um, so I will probably, I'll probably get these into the binder. But like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not loving the idea of this fold over part. So I might just cut that off. And then just be able to put the money in. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching. It's kind of a short, sweet video today. And let me know how you like the table cover for the remainder remainder of winter. And um, till next time. <laughs> Bye for now.